you are a parent, you have not learned anything from Mr. Obidi. Even whether you, 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 you don't like them or you like them, just learn this thing. Because me, I just learned it. Never fail praying to your children. Because no matter what may come against or may come for them, your prayer is a strong tower in the life. And don't forget, it's very difficult for somebody to harm somebody that have a very prayerful parents or less if God have destined it that that is where it will happen. Hi guys, and welcome to UJG. Hope you are doing amazing. I have missed you all so, so much. And I know some of you do too. Yeah, thank you for always being here for me. I appreciate. So Carol Bini posted a video of the dad blessing her. And according to the caption, she said that the prayer of her father does wonders. Yes, I am a testimony. If you have a very powerful parents, ah, you go, you go, you, you go use head, break, break anything. Nothing will happen. You understand? So you see why, um, what is actually keeping her going when she remember that her father is there supporting her spiritually, guiding her spiritually. You understand? It will be very easy for her to actually move on in life. Are you a parent? Are you a mother? Are you a father? Are you somebody that because your wife died, you left your children, <clears throat> left your children in the hands of let them train themselves and you move on with your first second wife or your side chicken. Learn from this man. Learn from him. Girls are not nonsense children. Train your girls well. And you'll be proud of them tomorrow. Learn to pray for your children. Your prayer does wonders for them. Pray for your born and your born children. Yes. You'll be wondering. All the whole bus goes that have been happening to this girl. Since... It's, it's a year plus now. I think that is is a year plus now. All the old bass goes that have been happening to her. How is she coping? Considering that she stays alone. One week on, one week off. Considering that she stays alone. Considering that um, her Facebook channel, her Facebook page, what is happening to it. Considering the things that we hear on this cyberspace that she faced. And even the one that... Did not happen to her that people are saying she hear all those things. But have you asked yourself, how is she coping? Why is it that this moment you see her feel as if she's sad, the next moment she's carrying on is because she have a very strong backbone. She have a very, very strong backbone. Some of you will stick out to my comment section. I said, oh, her father, she wrote in her book, her... I don't want to know what you understand. I don't know if it's the same book that I read that you read. But even if you feel that the father is the mister that he used then, for you know when you have that heart of forgiving any anybody that offended you, you have a very free life. You see, there is one video that she did before. She said, "Be at peace with your chi. When you are at peace with your God." When you are at peace with your guidance angel, things will be moving for you. And there is no good spirit in this world. There is no Christian. There is no <clears throat> tradition in that, that will not tell you that if you always wish people evil, that evil you shall always get. But you, or if you always wish people good, good you shall always get. It's like that. No two ways about it. Clean your, clean your heart. Have a free spirit. Have a free spirit. Tomorrow you look at her and say, she did this, she did that, she did this, she did that, she did this, she did that. She's only living her life. She is only living her life. All of us know that this girl is passing through what some of us cannot pass through. 
but prayers prayers is doing wonders no matter what you believe in please always guide your children with prayer god help me to guide my children with prayer i know this internet once we wake up from sleep we can oh what is the latest what is happening on the side by on this uh, space that will not even benefit anything in our life we don't even have time for prayer again talk about praying for our children we don't even have time to even pray for our marriage again talk more of even praying you know most things that are vital in life because of social media is no longer vital it's no longer vital we take them for granted because social media consume most of our time the only people that see have their sanity in that now is people that know how to regulate their time on the media quote me anywhere at times take a break from this media take a break stop pressing your phone inside the church take a break from media look after yourself yes go and sweep that house that you have not swept since last week go and clean it go and cook good food for your husband go take care of yourself go and look at those children take care of them go yes you you that is watching me you are always late to church you're always late to school you're always late to where you are going because you are pressing what does not concern you on the media crave out time for media and time for your family is very necessary it's very necessary thank you mr obidi for this reminder guys see you in my next video i love you so very much please don't forget to share i still remain your babe your girl ujg i love you so very much Mwah.